Welcome back to more PGA Tour, and uh, I was able to do quite a few of those basics challenges. Um, generally doing like three out of five or whatever, so I either got like one star or two stars. I wasn't able to get uh, three stars in most of them, so <sighs> anyway. Time to jump in. Might as well put this stuff to use that I've learned so far, and we will try uh, oh, week one, the Amateur Championship. The old course at St. Andrew's Lynx. Uh, we got four rounds. There's a field of 120. Uh, if we get through that, I guess we get to the Masters. I think... Hmm... Let's say that I think you have to win the amateur though to get into the Masters and the US Open. That's what I understood. Anyway, complete any to enter, complete any to enter, and then uh, wherever we get, we will hopefully get into Q School. So, whatever. Let's give this a go. Leader is currently two under. Wind is low, actually. I've seen all kinds of um, range of uh, EA Sports weather in, in conjunction Saint with the Andrews. RNA. So proud to spotlight golf's best amateur talent from around the globe. Today, we bring you coverage from this opening round. We've got a full field ready to get rolling on this Thursday as we get a look at the early leaderboard. We've got a tie at the top at two under par. Par four first here at St. Andrews in the old course. It's only 376 yards with what seems to be a mile wide fairway. So what's it all about? It's the history. It's the royal and ancient behind you. It's people watching from their flats uh, across the street. It's the atmosphere, the ambiance. There is nothing like it in golf. Yeah, it's kind of cool, like I was saying. I've seen um, like YouTube golfers playing here, ranging from anything from weather like this to pouring rain, driving driving winds, uh, freezing cold, uh, you know, everything. And it's, it's funny, everybody says the same thing, that it seems St. Andrews feels really open. See, it's deceptively simple, so. It's interesting. They really the low scores really only happen when the night, days are nice. If the weather is bad, then um, you know it's quite challenging. Even in this day and age, with all the technology and stuff that they've got, let's move this a little bit over there. I want to I want to stay away with the wind. With the wind off the left like that, I don't want to end up in the water. That is fading a little bit. Oh, oh, uh, don't run into the water. Stop, stop, stop. Oh my God, stop. Stop rolling, <laughs> holy crap. <laughs> well. So this is a good time now to bring in Nota Begay the third had an outstanding amateur career played at Stanford with none other than Tiger Woods four times a winner on the PGA Tour so Nota you you know what it's all about what it's like to have these dreams as a high level amateur where are they at this point well the uh, the nerves are up huge excitement about what's to come as an amateur it's so hard to stay focused on the task at hand but that is going to be key in order to ensure a good performance today i ran out a little bit more than i would have liked but sorry <laughs> it's a goofy look it's around on, the, six feet on here my character <laughs> uh I don't know, that should be doable yeah, yeah. good putt. It's a birdie here at Let's one. start with a birdie. Uh -oh. a Rounds that start with birdies are often very quickly often don't end well. 
Here we are now at the second. Always so important to try and establish a good round in these opening holes, Frank. In the second hole, especially with a prevailing breeze and today's modern equipment, the odd player has actually driven this green, but um, you really see, see the tone of the golf course. The middle of the golf course is protected. There's a, there's a series of bunkers down there, but um, the left is always the safe side of the golf course, but it's the best line to play your second shot from on the whole golf course is always the right side, and we see that here at the second. Really weird. The tee is over there. Some people are driving it 406 yards. Good grief. Okay, well, I can't do that, so. That'll do. And this round starting off strong after the birdie at the first. This in the fairway at number two. Seems pretty, pretty pleased with himself. So now from just 76 yards away, here's his second. Um, well, we don't want it over there. That's kind of, that seems like a dumb idea. That's going to go too far, I would say. Um... I don't know. I'm going to underswing a bit. That's still a little long. Oh, it ripped back. Okay, on the green, but let's go leave a putt that will get your attention. That just gonna sneak on these by. things quite often. Uh, I mean, it usually adjusts for you, but it didn't adjust there. Damn, okay, let's that finished off for par. You were the second, and he'll remain in red figures at one under. Up next here at St. Andrews, the 370 yard par for third. Best to drive it left, left center to avoid a cluster of bunkers down the right side of the fairway. The real challenge comes on the approach with cart gate bunker coming into play. Look at that bunker. That thing is absolutely ridiculous. Don't go in that bunker. Well, that should be fine. Slight fade. No, sorry, slight draw. Oh. Don't run into that bunker. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Oh, crap. Well. And that one not going to stop in time. It'll roll all the way into the bunker. All right, at least it's a decent angle. Could have been worse. Way too far. Mm, tough to control the golf ball out of the bunker. This is on the green butt with a lot of work left to be done. This one, not for the faint of heart. Down a big slope, though it is for birdie. Let's try that. Will that stop? Yes, that was not easy down the slope, but that's pretty well done. So that safely in. It's a par here at the third. And he'll remain at one under par. Not bad. Frank now at the fourth hole. Yeah, long par four. Two choices, whether you a game enough to drive it down the right or down the left, which is a much wider piece of fairway. 
I don't know, these fairways are rolling out. Should be okay. Don't go too much that way. There is a bunker. Nothing to fault there. Safely in the fairway. Oh, thank goodness it rolled out. Second shot coming up. Let's bring in Iona Steven. Yes, it's 126 yards left to the flag. Wind coming from behind, so you'll need to be careful where you land it. Oh, Iona. I've seen Iona uh, play with uh, Rick Shields. Uh, okay, so... Basically, we want to land this maybe a little shorter. A wind helping. Where is the pin? Right there. So let's, yeah, it's landed a little short. Um, maybe a little bit to the side too. Oh, oh, very nice. Oh, oh, Rich, mind. I was told to keep my Don't mind if I do. This week. That is a shot that's as good as any professional in the world. Should make this about 80% of the time. It's for birdie. Yeah, that's a well played hole. It's a birdie here at four. We come yeah. down to the fifth, the first par five on the front side here at St. Andrews, 514 yard hole that ends at a green that is 100 yards deep. Avoid the <laughs> Seven Sisters bunkers off the tee and reaching into is a possibility if the weather cooperates. That is a massive green. All right, down there should be fine. Uh oh, roll out. Thank you. Long Mids. drive. But a bad lot. Not wicked. It's in the rough, but it's not. It's not in the deep rough, at least. Yeah, so we've got a, man, a front pin that is like just off to the edge. Um, yeah, we could we could catch a flyer out of here. Good. Or a little bit wrong. So, it's on the green and two. It is one of the more satisfying shots in golf, isn't it? Downwind to a par five the second, and you knock it on. Chance for Eagle. Certainly shortens up the par five, that wind at your back, Rich, but you can just surf the wind. Just let that ball carry and just sail towards Ooh. the green. Oh my. Well, that was for my eagle, but still. Yeesh. Let's see if he can knock this in. It's for birdie. Yeah, yes. there's another one. Back to back birdies here at four and five. 
I didn't think there was like any chance you of me winning the names this, of the but maybe here, there is don't a chance. You? They tell you all you need to know. Those coffin bunkers, you hit it in there, and you're dead. Here we are now at the 370 Ooh, dead. yard par 4 6. It's a blind tee shot over a mound. The key here, avoiding the coffin bunkers on the left and a series of bunkers on the right. Now, where's the coffin bunkers? That's the real question. Can I not see more? Um, I'd really like to see bunkers over there. Where's the... Yeah, I have no idea. Okay, let's do... Um, do a little bit of a... Aid. Gonna be oh, this okay. Is a big chance, but it's looking good. I was it gonna hit that slope? Oh yeah. That is gonna run into a bit of a bit of a trough here though, that's not great. I mean, that is a sight to behold. What a spectacular shot we just saw on the par four with a drive in one. Goodness. Okay, let's uh, target that. Oh, how good is that? Those are the kinds of long distance putts you'll see here in Scotland, and that was judged about as well as one can. Oh, how about the run here? That a third consecutive birdie, and that's gonna stretch the lead to two shots. I will take that, obviously. Now, seventh hole here at the old course, Frank. Ideal line, just take your tee shot over the March stone. Um, the bunker on the 11th green actually often comes into play, called the shell bunker. So anything a little bit wider that, but very difficult green for the approach shot coming up. Bunkers everywhere. That one's that's 330. That's unlikely for me to run that far. Let's hope. Oh, grew it. It's gonna be up the left-hand side. Short of the bunker, at least. Ah, uh, that got a fortunate bounce. Uh, it'll be just fine. So, after the fortunate kick, is second to the par four. I'm gonna hit a little bit over there. Rip back a bit for me. Good clean contact and a nice result. And a chance for birdie coming up. We turn to Notabagay the third for this look at birdie. And this has a pretty clear right to left break to it. Players got to recognize the speed. This is one that guys leave short quite a bit. Speed was fine. Angle Got was it not. there, but not quite on target.
that one finished off. It'll be a par here at seven. And he's going to stay too clear of the field. Frank, now at the par three eighth, and how challenging is this hole? Well, it's called short on the, on the scorecard, but um, massive green. The problem here is trying to hit it close. A lot of little subtle breaks and undulations in this green, and often you see long, long birdie putts here. Yeah, let's just barely cover that nasty bunker. Oh, oh no. That's a bit to the left. And that one not on the green, but not in a terrible spot either. Sitting up in the short grass. Second shot now here at the par three. Let's do that. Ah. And that's not exactly ideal. Far from a tap-in for his par. You're being too kind. Uh, that's not at all ideal. <laughs> You're being way too nice. Oh, that come on, really? High, and it didn't want to come back. Damn. Yeah, I got our first bogey. That one finished off. It's a bogey here at number eight. And the lead is going to drop down to a single shot. Not so good with the... Uh, Rounding out the opening the nine here at St. Anthony's. There. And Frank, this par four features a couple of fairway bunkers that players will have to contend with. Yeah, this hole is a fun hole when you first stand on that tee and look at it. Um, you see those bunkers smack bang in the middle of the fairway. The last bunker there in the middle is called the end hole. This hole is, is called the end. But this green, too, is so flat, very, very difficult to read. But uh, if you get there, pull the head cover off the driver. Remember, this is the only chance you get to play the old course. That is dead straight. So often we talk about needing precision off the tee, and this is how you do it. That is dead center. Almost ran out of bounds of the green. Good chance to get one in close from here. This is second. I'm not very good at these, these chip, uh, pitch things. Mm. Let's try it. No, I don't know. Oh. Yeah, like a lot of them, that's the thing. Like, I don't know whether it's going to run. Nobody's happy after that shot. <laughs> oh. I have no idea if it's going to run out or not. up from disastrous, really. Now this, for birdie. And he Absolutely is disastrous. in spot. Just, just below the hole. Sucks. I don't see any movement at all. Oh! What do you mean, no movement? Not quite online, and that'll drift a couple feet by. Not online. It was straight. It was just not in the right direction. Okay, that's in for his par here at the ninth. And that's going to be a three under 33 on this front side. As we begin the backside here at St. Andrews, you can really feel the history. This whole named in honor of the legendary Bobby Jones, who won the 1927 Open and the 1930 Amateur. Obviously, 1930 was his Grand Slam year. Retired, by the way, at the age of 28. And then founded and built with Alistair McKenzie, Augusta National. So a little bit of history lesson. 
as you play this 340 yard par four tenth. Let's go to the side a little. Boy, a good round going here on this Thursday, and that another fine effort off the tee. Yeah, only problem is a 20 yard chip shot. So after a big drive, just a little chip remaining here for his second from short of the green. Two. That, I guess. Well, that's not bad. Could be a little closer, but... A very makeable eight footer for Birdie. Oh, I hit that a little too hard. Oh, just a hair. Oh, hey, uh, horseshoe lip crazy. out. I said very makeable. Apparently, it's very missable, too. Just a so little that's bit too in hard. For par to start this backside. And this will stay a one-shot lead. Frank, number 11, the Eden, is really one of the more fascinating holes in all of golf. Yeah, the two bunkers that the players normally worry about, Streth bunker in the front and the hill bunker to the left. What makes those two bunkers so difficult is the steepness of the faces. And Stop, stop, don't roll down there. Oh, God. Boy, this is just way too much club for a front hole location that was completely overcooked. Uh, Maybe a spot for the lob wedge, a second to the par three. Let's do a flop. Yes. Yeah. Okay, well, I have no idea where this is going to end up. Okay, that's a decent recovery. Ball wasn't sitting too bad, rough not too long. Good decision on the flop shot. More importantly, well played. And this will be a five foot putt here. This is like sloping wildly. Oh, God oh, damn. Listen, where's the turn? He didn't move nearly as much as he anticipated. This is still not a gimme. <gasps> You're kidding me. It's literally one inch away. <laughs> okay, this part three shows its teeth. It is a double bogey. God and he'll damn. Fall back to one under Oh, ball. that's horrible Frank the charm of St. Andrews the history of the old course it all sort of comes into view here at the 12th doesn't it yeah very pretty hole Eden history to the well, right look at all those a nice view of the township of St. Andrews in the distance but uh, long hitters can just lick their chops and have a crack at this green all they've got to do is worry about that little pop bunker short but um, either into the breeze or if you're not a long hitter you've got to worry about those four bunkers that are well placed Smack bang in the middle of this fairway. And. And is over there. I guess I want to go this way then. A little bit. Right? Probably. Hope that works out. Oh, that's. That's right. And I lost that one dead right. Damn. 
And we'll have to see here. It looked like that ball hopped from the lighter rough into the heavier stuff. Oh, it definitely It'll did. take some effort from this buried lot, but a chance now to still reach this green in two. That's a little long. But it came back. Not terrible. Yeah, not a great lie, and that's on the green, but with work to do. This now for birdie at 12. And players of this caliber should make this on a regular basis pretty flat with just a slight movement to the left. Yes. You betcha. What a roll there. That is in for a birdie. Ah. Thank goodness. Frank, how about the bunkers here at 13? A, a rather ominous sounding name. Yeah, the coffins, and uh, they are that for a reason. If you finish up in there, well, the best you'll probably ever do is make a bogey, unless you're an absolute genius. Uh, that'll be avoided, certainly off the tee. If you do, it's still a difficult hole. The second shot, unless you had a perfect tee shot, will be fine. So I was going to end the the uh this episode at the ha about the half hour mark but we only have five holes remaining so i think we're gonna try and play it out actually yeah let's go there and then let's uh draw it a bit how that goes That is not drawing. This one's starting a little bit right. Got a bit of a ground draw. A favorable jump. Uh, Bulls back on the fairway. I guess it's better left. to be lucky than good. From the fairway, Iona, this is second. An impressive tee shot managed to take the third of those coffin bunkers out of play, but the job's not done. This is a challenging approach shot. Hmm. Yeah, well. That is also right. This is rolling slightly towards the hole. And a good approach shot, just not quite as close as what you'd like, but still solid. Gonna have to be a little careful with this one. It's for birdie. Oh boy. Uh, that goes this way and that way. I think we're gonna just go straight. Also downhill. That might not be hard enough. Oh, whoa! Not quite enough pace on that putt. Now that went way more right than I thought it was going to. Well judged, that is in for par here at 13. And he'll stay at 200. Oh no, I'm not What's leaving. What's the strategy anymore? here at the 14? If you can't go for this uh, par five and two, Rich, um, there is another option where you can go left. And I mean left of left, that's down the fourth fairway. That's uh, across the Elysian Fields, um, as they call it, which is a, a set of sort of hot, uh, hummocks that run down the middle and uh, you can find a flat lie there and come across at about a 45 degree angle for your third shot to 14. Um, let's go pretty much right there. Well, that should be fun. Yeah, good swing and a good result, as that is safely into the fairway. Boy, it's been a terrific day so far. Noda, you've been impressed. 
I really have. Uh, they've really handled the golf course well. They've handled the nerves and under the pressure, they've really managed to point to the right things that are making this thing turn into a very nice day. Ooh. Oh, wow. Well, just Almost. Just a good solid shot right there. With Almost that three on the, gr uh, on the green. That's an aggressive layup, really. Trying to force that three wood down and get it as close as possible to the green. That's two good shots if you can't reach the par five. Uh, let's do lop. Oh, that went uh, way left. I don't know what happened there. That was a little About weird. A Sixty percent make percentage from here. This for birdie. Nice. Ah, that's how you play this 14th hole. That's in for birdie, and he'll move to three under here. Just one shot off the lead. Oh, Hughes is Front tearing away. Here at the old course, just a classic example of Lynx golf, where you might be aiming for something that isn't even on the golf course. Exactly. There's uh, a nice line there. In between the two humps that you can see in front of you off the tee, if you keep looking down, you see the church steeple. That's the perfect line for the tee shot. Got to be careful with the second shot coming up. Um, you see the 16th tee and out of bounds to the right of this green and that little pot bunker that protects the front. Uh, I mean, that sh should be fine right down there. And that's a little bit left. Boy, the rhythm is definitely there today. Another wonderful oh, nice. tee shot. Hold out of the rough. From the fairway, Iona, this is second. It's 125 yards to the front of the green, but 128 to the hole. Pin, front right, it's a sneaky one. Up there. Maybe a little bit longer because of the wind. That uh, might be a bit short. Although, oh, okay, that's okay. And it wasn't expecting it to roll out that much, but. Oh, that ball limps its way onto the green, but yeah, you never know. One part away. Oh. This one on the slow side as he'll try to get this one close. On the slow side, blew it by, blew it by almost thing. six feet. <laughs> yeah, good putt. That's in for par here at 15, and he'll stay at minus three. Sixteenth hole is a par four here at the old course, Frank, with another one of those sort of funky features. Yes, yeah, a series of three bunkers called the Principal's Nose, plus that out of bounds on the right. So really, err on the side of caution, avoiding both the out of bounds and the Principal's Nose. Nothing wrong with going a little bit left here, but the further left you go, then it makes that second shot that much harder because you'll have to bring it across that little pot bunker in the front called the Wee. Don't go for too far right. It'll be okay, but it'll be all right. Me in the fairway. Oh no, that is the fairway. Okay. My approach shot's pretty much clear now. This is why you practice these shots from under a hundred yards. You've bond your drive. Now it's time for the touch shot. Zip one in there close.
Oh no! He's not expecting it to spin back that much. In golf, you know, you've heard the term mulligan. You'd love that to do over there, wouldn't you? I mean, that's just, oh, that's very poor from that range. A birdie putt now at 16. And this is when you'd expect to make more often than not. Not too much undulation. Maybe just a slight move to the right. I mean, just a slight move to the right. It looks massive. Also a bit too hard. It's gonna scoot a foot or two by. Oh no. Okay, that'll be a par here at 16. And he'll remain right where he is. Driving now at St. Andrews' infamous road hole, often considered the most difficult par four in golf, the 17th tee shot has to fly those railway sheds and the grounds of the Old Course Hotel, landing on a narrow fairway beyond. Yeah, this is wild. You gotta like go like right over the hotel, basically. <laughs> And a whole bunch of people just randomly walking by, like... Oh. Was that good? My goodness. Uh, that is poetry in motion right there. What a golf swing. And a big drive as well. Hundred and ninety-four yards, not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, so we got a oh boy. We got a bunker there. We're gonna definitely wanna go a little longer for the wind. I think I might have overcooked that a bit. Just a bit. No, it's a decent sized green. It's not bad. Just a little past the hole. 18 footer. These swinging things are so hard. I'm going to try it there. Nope. Not even close. Damn. Nah, Goodness. That been a little In other little times, it looks like you, you know, need, don't need to hole. go. I mean, you need to go far, and it doesn't go as far as you thought it was going to. Yeah, that's a good punt. It is in for par here at 17. And he'll stay right where he is. Ah. Hughes is in Headed five under, so unless I uh, behind the green, eagle this. Across the Swilkin Bridge, just as Jack Nicklaus did, as Arnold Palmer did, as so many of the legends of the sport have done, this is a special place in the game. It's pretty wild. Uh, Rick Shields, in one of his uh, videos, he hits it. Uh, he hit it right. It bounced off the road, bounced off a building, and landed on the green. Don't think I can do that here, but that would be nice. Oh, oh yeah. Take that, take that extra bounce. Well, somehow that ball managed to get on the cart path too, and uh, well, it certainly got some uh, little added advantage. So not a whole lot left to go here as he'll set up his second with his par four. Over there. 
Try not to over hit this. Ah, it's full too much. Damn, that really rolled out. Huh. Okay, on the putting surface, but work to do from there. So this for a finishing birdie uh, at 18. It would be very well, easy gonna... to underread this putt. There is break on it from left to right, particularly as it nears the hole. We're gonna try it out there. I don't know if that's enough. Oh, so close. Bit oh, offline. And it'll leave a good four feet coming back. Ah, uh, that's a good putt to save par here at 18. And this will be a solid opening round of 69, three under par. A uh, final look at the opening round leaderboard. It shows our featured golfer just two back at day's end. Makes that second round even more important, Rich. Don't want to get too adrift come moving day. Until okay. next time, for our entire cast and crew, I'm Rich Lerner. This has been a presentation of EA Sports PGA Tour Golf. We're tied for so long, fourth. Everybody. And... That's our settings. All right. Move that away. I got some points. Golfer level. Okay. Even know what that means. We got uh, 19,320 XP, some tokens, and some experience. Golfer level five, pro pass level eight. Sure. Whatever that means. Okay, so where does that put me? I assume we carry on with this. I don't know. Anyway, we will see in the next episode. Thank you for joining, joining me. We'll see you then.